to my channel welcome back to a little vlog i wanted to do so i'm just leaving the doctor's office um i hope you are subscribed and like this video please and leave your girl a comment so this video here will be all about my labs i'm just gonna focus this video on labs results things like that things that the doctors are telling me so y'all it's december um, so again, this is about my pregnancies, the reason I keep having miscarriages and things like that. So the doctors are trying to see why. So I was pregnant back in December. I was pregnant a little bit before Christmas. I literally just stopped bleeding today. No, not today. I literally just stopped ble um, bleeding day before yesterday. So it's Thursday, Feb March the 14th. I stopped bleeding on Tuesday. Okay. Um, so my doctor just ordered an ultrasound. She want to look at, you know, look inside and see what's going on. Um, see if she can see why I'm keep having miscarriages. She ordered so many flipping tests, y'all. So I've been going to the clinic every single um, week to get my ACG down. My ACG has literally just went down to um, zero, and I don't even think I think it was at. 0.5 or 5 or something last week so she said you know that's good we can move forward with the test so um moving forward is this yes moving forward with the test she ordered me a horizon test which is supposed to see if i'm a carrier of like i guess birth defects i'm probably so wrong with that y'all but i will talk a little bit more about that later um she anyway she ordered like so many tests so when i went in there y'all had my camera out i had it on me at first and then when the lady started poking me i turned it forgot to flip the camera so i <laughs> i didn't get any of that footage of all them tubes um going inside of um all them things she was all the tubes that she had to um i did not god dang i did not get any footage of all the blood that was drawn so, anyway, just know it was a lot. It was like 10 um, tubes and she used like the butterfly. I think it's called a butterfly. I think I remember that from, from medical assistant. Um, she did like the butterfly thing, put the needle in it, then did the little long tube and took out all the blood that way. Um, she also gave me a card here. I need to run into um, American's Best really quick and get my prescription. Um, but anyway, she gave me this card here that it has to do with the horizon test to see, you know, whatever. She told me that these results should be back within 72 hours. And it says that to horizon carrier screening kit. So they want to see if, if I'm a carrier of, yeah, again, I'll read more about that. I'm not good with all this medical technical stuff so i'll read all that later let me run into america's best real quick and get my prescription all right all right i got my prescription from my contacts and my glasses and i need to order some more of these so that's why i was really adamant about getting over here because this is a new prescription everybody love these glasses y'all um people in you know out here in the world everybody asks me about these glasses normally my glasses come from i don't even know how to pronounce it z-e-e-l-o-o-l -L. that's what most of my glasses come from i mean you cannot beat it because going into america's best talking about purchasing some glasses you paying like 300 dollars when i can go get these online for 50 and if I want to really jazz it up, maybe buy 80 bucks, you know, 10 them out and everything. I got sunglasses that cost me like 75 bucks, prescription sunglasses. Y'all probably have seen me with them on during the summertime. Love that for me. So anyway, I should have the results to this test within 72 hours. I'll bring y'all those results. Also, all of them, I would probably, today is Thursday, so I would probably have all of my results come Monday. They are really quick about getting your results and put them, putting them up on the patient portal and all of that. I should have all of my results as well as my ultrasounds and all of that. If they post pictures and things like that, I will put some pictures in the video. They might not post pictures of my um, um, tubes and all of that, but 
if they do, I will. So yeah, that's what this vlog is about, y'all. I will see y'all in a few. I'm about to head to um, this spot called Strawberry Deli, which at this point, y'all should have already seen some of those videos um, of me eating there. I eat there, if I don't cook, so I try to cook about four days a week. So on the three days that I don't cook, I don't eat breakfast. Um, it's going on 11.30 right now. Let me, let me rephrase that. I don't care if I miss breakfast. I don't eat breakfast um, a lot or often. And when I say breakfast, I mean the time between 7 and 11. I typically don't eat before 11. Typically after 11. So I consider that to be my breakfast or brunch or whatever. So that's when I'm, I eat. So it's about that time right now. I'm going to drink some water. I'm going to head over to Strawberry Deli and probably get me a avocado BLT. I have been loving, loving, loving that right now. Um, yeah, maybe a salad, something like that. Get my veggies in. But that's what I'm headed to now. And then the next clip, y'all, we should be getting some results to all of these tests. Hey, y'all. So this was supposed to be a vlog video. As y'all can see, it started out as a vlog. But stuff happened so fast that I really couldn't keep up. So I was just like, you know what? I'm going to just have to pop in and tell them what's going on and what's happening. I'm taking my braids down, y'all. It's been... I got them done like February the 10th and we're at March the like first, second or something like that. So I'm about to take these down and yes, I'll be starting all the way at the bottom because I don't know how long my hair is. Okay, my hair, honestly, when it's straightened, which it was when I braided this, and when I got this braided, it wasn't like completely straight. It was like blow dried out straight. My hair comes to about right here right maybe even longer so when i go to cut the braids i'll be so nervous okay i'll be so nervous so anyway um so the beginning of this um video y'all was filmed about three weeks ago um so if you're saying to yourself oh my god kamadika looks so skinty i am girl since that video i lost like five pounds what i am skin and bones okay <laughs> nah i can't really tell the difference for real but <laughs> i did drop five pounds since then y'all and um it was supposed to be a vlog and everything moved so fast i actually got the results all of these results like two days later but i just been so busy with so many different things i wasn't able to come in and update y'all so here we are so i found out what my diagnosis is um first off i did record my doctor i'm not gonna put everything she said in here but i am gonna put a little bit of it in here so y'all know exactly the reason why i keep having miscarriages and if i get pregnant again i probably will have another one unless i resolve this issue well, it looks like your carrier test is still pending. Yes. That's still That's out there. That. So as soon as, yeah. I, as soon as I get that back, I'll let you know. Okay. If your partner needs to be tested or not, but if right. you're on negative or everything, no worries. Right. Okay. Um, I didn't personally check your thyroid, but usually that's what I would check. Your thyroid, right. it looked like your primary care doctor checked, it was low. Okay. So we need to do further testing for that. Say that again. What? Thyroid okay. testing. That's something that kind of interferes with pregnancy too. Okay. Um, I didn't personally check that, but looking through your labs, looks like your primary care doctor checked that. Okay. I don't know if you recall them checking it. No. And over in um, family medicine, check your blood count, your cholesterol, check for diabetes, check your thyroid, and all that already. Okay. Um, thyroid was low, so we need to do further testing on that to see if there's a diagnosis for that or not. Okay. Okay, so um, I do recommend further labs for that, and we'll do that today. I'm going okay. to go to the lab for that. Okay. Okay, because if that's, in, if that's abnormal, we need to correct that. Okay. Um, because it can interfere and cause miscarriages if it's not controlled, thyroid. Okay. Okay, um, but we'll look into that, okay? Hemoglobin A1C was completely normal, so no diabetes. Okay. Diabetes can interfere with pregnancies, too. Your antiphospholipid panel, when I was checking for blood clotting disorders, right. that's negative. So that's okay. good. Okay. Your ultrasound looks good, but there is a there is like a two centimeter polyp. Okay. Okay. That's the only thing so far. I don't have my little measure thing. Um, that's the only thing I see this so right far. Here? Oh, it's high. Man. Thank you. No <laughs> <laughs> so two centimeters is like this big. Okay. Okay. Your uterus is like eight centimeters. Kind of give you an idea. Your uterus is that. Okay. okay. But the the polyp is 
that. Okay. Okay. So they show, they show an area concerning, it could be a polyp or just like a thickened area of endometrium that looks okay. concerning for a polyp. So that being said, um, we're working up for recurrent pregnancy loss. Okay. I, I recommend that we correct the things that we see. Right. Because that's what, that's what we're working you up for. Okay? okay. So correcting your thyroid if it's necessary. So we do more laps on that to see. Okay. Okay. And then the polyp itself needs to come out. Okay. And how you do that is surgery. Okay. Okay. Because I don't know if some reason when you when you make when you guys make your baby some reason it migrates to the area where the polyp would be so the polyp is almost 100 percent benign when you look it up age okay There's a small chance of cancer small right. chance of cancer right? right and it's a space occupying um it's like a smooth cell growth basically is, is benign but sometimes it happens in people sometimes it doesn't some okay. people get fibroids some people don't um, and so when it's impinging on the lining of the uterus, that's where the baby implants. Right. For okay. some reason, I don't know if that's the case. Some reason your baby may be migrating to that area and can't implant good because the polyps interfering. Right. So we make your uterus nice and smooth, fix your thyroid concerns if that's a concern. We've done all we could, and then we kind of go from there. All right, so that is what's going on with your girl. Um, polyps and stuff. Ugh, women have to deal with so much, y'all. We have to deal with so much, but you know, I'm not going to make this video long because I am going to start another vlog of surgery day and all of that. Um, but y'all now know why I'm having miscarriages, right? So we have, um, so we understand what's going on and we're going to fix it. So as of right now, today is the second, I, I confirmed that today is the second. I had my pre-op today, um, with my doctor, everything, you know, seems same particulars of when you're going into surgery is pretty much the same stuff. I do have to take off my nails and all of that, which really sucks, but it is what it is. Um, so I have a appointment at the hospital for some exams, blood work and things like that Friday morning. And then um, come Monday, um, I have surgery. So the reason that I wanted to go ahead and, you know, hurry up and do this wasn't necessarily because I'm trying to hurry up and have a kid or anything. I consistently, like ever since like the first miscarriage, I have just been bleeding off and on, off and on, off and on, not even knowing why, you know, and now I have an answer why. So, and I was going to the doctor. I was going to the doctor. Um, at some points it was stopped. So, you know, the doctors weren't worried about it. Maybe thinking it was a, my menstrual cycle was off, you know, maybe coming on twice, you know, whatever, whatever. But that wasn't the case. So we figure out what the problem is. So we're going to get this resolved and hopefully it will stop the um, bleeding that I be having and things like that. So I'm really excited that it wasn't something more serious, y'all. I really am. I mean, this is serious, but in most situations, things could be worse, right? So I'm really happy that... Um, we have a solution. I'm really happy that my doctor's able to get me in so quick. Like the turnaround time was really, really quick. I found out, um, I found out, um, within, I'll just say within me finding out, I was scheduled for surgery within two weeks, right? So when I found out, I was saying, I was scheduled for surgery, I would say within like two to three weeks. So that's pretty good. I'm happy she was able to get me in so quickly. Um, so yeah, so also um, I do my, she did a, like a bunch of tests, y'all. She did like, they did a bunch of tests. So they, I told y'all they did a test to see, like a, to test my genes to see was I a carrier of any um, diseases or anything like that. And come to find out, I'm going to put the name of it up there. I think it has something to do with, from what I Googled, it has something to do with being um, anemic, but I'm not anemic, but I could become anemic or it's something I could, I could pass on to my potential future kids. So outside of that, the 14 um, genetic testing that they did, um, the 14 that they did, that's the only one that came back. Hold on, y'all.
So out of all of the 14 genetic testing that they did, they only found one issue, which was the anemic issue. So I thought that was pretty good. So other than that, y'all, that is, that is my update um, about what's going on with me. Um, they thought, so I thought that I had thyroid issues. I thought the way everything was going, thyroid issues, right? Nope, I do not have thyroid issues. Thyroid is perfectly fine. So that's always good to know that everything, you know, you're healthy and you're good. That's always good. But sometimes when you don't feel good, like when you don't feel good on the inside, you want to know why, you know, and if, the, and if everyone keeps telling you nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong, and you feel like something is wrong, you know, it's just like... It can be a bit much, you know what I'm saying? It can it can be a bit, bit much. So with all the swelling and all of that, I just have to, I just, I just right now, y'all, I've just been focusing on water, focusing on my sodium intake, just focusing on making sure that I'm healthy on the inside out. And even though at this point, I'm positive that I have um, lymphedema in this leg. It's not as bad. It only gets bad when I too much sodium, alcohol, not enough water. It gets really bad. But if I don't do that, if I focus on, you know, getting healthy things in my body, my leg doesn't swell. So it sucks, but it is what it is. But anyway... Y'all know me, I ramble forever. That is my update on my health. I will see y'all soon with more updates um, on surgery day and all of that great stuff. I love you guys and I'll see you.